ready for your life class where you're at? The question is, am I ready to drag my fat butt up there? After eating all that pizza last night. our mass head unit and then here we have a uh, it's an ITC5 so this is going to connect this to our chart plotter down there and then here we have cabling it's uh, 92 feet cable and that's what will run down the mast and we'll connect to this guy to the head unit masthead unit and more cable yeah it's the story of my life cable life cool and then I believe this is the cable yep it's the cable I'm gonna use to connect from the autopilot it's under here I'm gonna run it all the way over to the nav station and connect it to that I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that Are you filming? Yeah. There's no way. Not without replacing the entire mast. Or taking the mast down. So we were thinking that we were not going to be able to run the cable at this time because at the base of the mast there's a hole and the previous cable was stuck in there and we didn't think we were going to be able to get it out and it was very difficult to get to. I mean, the only other thing you could do is make that a dead wire, try and drill a new hole on this side, I guess feed it down somehow. Oh, just kidding, I just got it. Did you really? Oh yeah. Are you serious? Well, I don't know, it's coming down. Oh, yeah, 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 I got it. It'll totally work. Oh, that's amazing, dude. Yeah, 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 I think I'll be able to feed it down. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't know about once we get it down Daddy, here. What's this? Uh, this is our mast, Tor. Max. Our mast. Sorry, can you say mast? Max. Max. Max white. Yeah. Will you go hand that to Daddy? Go take yeah. it to Dad. Yeah. Say here, Dad. Here, Tor, let me show you where it goes. Yeah. Look, it goes right here. See, it goes here. Yay! Yay! to see in this but I am using a bit to drill two holes and then I'm tapping them so that I can mount the base that holds the masthead unit at the top of the mast. Okay, so the plan here is to use the old cable to fish the new cable down the mast. You can see that uh, the connections that came with the cable are on there. Those are the red pieces. And I just, this was a quick kind of test so I didn't lose the old cable when we were trying to fish it down through the bottom. But it was too large to fish down through. So I cut off and re-tied the cable so that it was much more streamlined. And then we were able to pull the old cable out down through the bottom of the mast. And so this cable is 95 feet long and it was running down through our mast and just to make sure that everything was going to slide properly we used some cable lubricant and it seemed to help. Holly was at the base of the mast and she was able to pull as I pushed the cable from the top and it took a while but we were able to get the cable, uh, all of it pulled and fished down through. It's 95 feet, I believe. The new one's 95 feet long, so definitely have enough length for us. 
I think what I'll do is I'll leave, leave a little coil here and then I'll leave some coil there. Just in case, I kind of, after having done a little bit of this wire running now, I think normally that's what I'll do. Just in case we ever need to do something down here, we don't have to go back. We have a little bit extra there and a little bit extra there. So Awesome, here's the new stuff. It's really a lot less than I thought. Like it's our mast is so tall, there's really not a ton left, just enough to run over there. It's gonna be great. Yeah. So we'll run this under the settee. And here's our old one. So we're gonna have to pull our old one out as we go. So I'll, I'll clip this. So this is all up in the mast, huh? Yeah. So I'll cut this so it's easier. Let me move that for you, bud. Yeah. So. so we'll just cut this off and that'll be easier for us to pull through. Mm. Maybe I'll just chuck it. Put it on the free table. Yeah, we'll do that. It's a great idea. Do you want to explain to everybody what the free table is? So at our marina, there is a table where if there's anything you don't need, you just put it there. And people that do need it come and pick it up. It's pretty cool. So yeah, it's like our own. So I will zip tie it, put a label on it that says masthead unit wire, and if someone wants it, they can have it. Going to I'm gonna go get it, Tor. Will it. you? Yeah, get we want to try and keep the cars out of there, okay? Will you go take it in the kitchen? I picked up the cushions to investigate. It wouldn't shut all the way. There was a Hot Wheels car wedged back there, and then a magnetite wedged over there. So I was like, yeah. okay. The children strike again. Oh yeah. So after we unpacked all of our toiletries. Paper stash. Our toilet paper and paper towel stash. Now you guys know where we hide all of our, our goods. I've been trying to label everything as I go and relabel some things where the label is maybe looking a little, a little worse for wear. I'm not gonna read the instructions, so. You never do. No. Should be pretty. Can you read them after? Should be pretty straightforward, okay, right? Okay, so. It did come back to haunt me not reading the instructions. Turns out there's five wires that run down through this cable and one of them is unjacketed. There's no coating on the outside. And through the process of cutting them off and running it down and, and recrimping on some terminals, some ends, that I lost that back in the main black sheath, the main jacket. And so for like nine months, our wind instrument wasn't working correctly and it was all because I had only seen and connected four wires instead of five. I called Ray Marine support and eventually we figured that out. So anyway, reading the instructions for some of this stuff maybe in the future and there should be five wires on the masthead unit. So the bulbs in our lights were just normal incandescent bulbs. What are you laughing about? <laughs> Nothing. Anyway, uh. there is normal incandescent bulbs and so of course this is 2020 and we have some bright LEDs that use a lot less electricity and heat. So we just we just got these guys and they're also a lot brighter. So this is this is the old school bulb and then this is the new school bulb. I don't know if you can tell it's it's a lot brighter. So we're we're just swapping them out. So the hardest <laughs> Just don't want to lose those little screws and they pop out and it's so easy to drop them. So. Did you just say the hardest part? Yeah, it's hard, man. They're <laughs> little things that just vanish. I lost them earlier. I mean, it's not hard, but I'm just saying it's... So this one does. Oh. It's got the kind of... The new one. Oh, that's right. So Boat Life is just doing really hard projects in exotic locations. <laughs> exotic locations like Green Cove Springs. Marina. On the St. John River. <laughs> it's, it's exotic, let me tell you about it. Daddy. What, what? Can you help me? <laughs> the reason that's funny is because this is not exotic. Woo! And this is not a boat park. Can you help me? 